numbers because Sunil Dugal, the CEO of the company, is with us here. Mr. Dugal, good afternoon. Um, the volume growth for you this time around is a little over 4%, but demand continues to be very listless in the sector as a whole, including for companies like yourselves. Uh, should we continue to expect uh, this low single-digit volume growth even in the second half of the year? I think volume growth will trend up. We do see a little bit of improvement in the market sentiment, but I think more importantly, we will be driving promotions uh, very aggressively to see the volume growth at a much higher levels than what uh, we have seen so far. Now, this could have some uh, negative impact on margins, but I still think that the trade-off is uh, to our favor, to our advantage, and we should uh, invest heavily behind our brands and drive volume growth. Okay, so when you say volume growth will trend up, what are you looking at? Because, uh, you know, at the same time last year, your volume growth was somewhere around 8.5 to 9 odd percent. Is that a more reasonable target to assume by the second half of the year? I think we'll be looking at that kind of number between 5 and 10, perhaps closer to 10 percent. And uh, to do that, we'll have to really swim against the tide because, as I said, the market sentiments still are very negative. The demand consumption side is uh, very stressed, uh, including the rural. Now, even if there's a small uptick, it may not be lasting. So we will really have to invest behind our brands to drive that kind of volume growth. But I think we are pretty committed to do that. And we believe that a 5 to 10% uh, range, perhaps uh, towards the upper end of this range, is eminently possible in the second half. Mr. Dugal, good afternoon. Uh, do you think uh, we are at a stage where maybe companies like your need to maybe compromise a bit on EBITDA margins to drive uh, the volume and sales growth. Uh, uh, your EBITDA margins have been quite healthy and in fact in this quarter they have actually gone up. Uh, uh, do you think uh, maybe we are going through that phase where you might have to take a bit of a hit? I think we are prepared to do that. Nothing significant though, but we are prepared to have a small erosion in our EBITDA margins if it means that there is a substantial improvement in our volume delivery. So that's something which uh, we are now in a process of doing. If we are lucky, then the demand side will also improve and uh, therefore the margins uh, will remain pretty constant. We may not uh, have the same promotional intensity as we are currently planning. But we are prepared for the worst case uh, in terms of some level of erosion of margins. And what would be that worst case and cost benefit analysis? What kind of margin er erosion and uh, I mean, you know, and what kind of volume growth uh, if that has to be compensated? Well, let's put it this way. I would be willing to trade off, say, 50 to 100 bips of EBITDA to drive a 10% volume growth. So that's the kind of trade-off you're looking at. I mean, I'm putting it very crudely, but broadly, that's the thinking which we are embarked on at this point in time. Okay, well, it's not crude because I'm sure that the co competition is getting very intense, not just from newer players like Patanjali, but also from, you know, well-entrenched players like Imami, Godrej consumers in segments that you get more than 50% of your revenues from. Um, so, it, just tell us uh, how much is the promotional expenditure that you have incurred exactly in this quarter and as a percentage of overall sales, how much do you think it can go up by uh, in the second half of the year? Well, if you take consumer promotions, uh, which is really what uh, we are doing uh, very aggressively and not trade promotions, uh, they would trend f up from around 3% to more in the region of 4, 4.5% of uh, revenues. Uh, at the same time, we may take down the level of intensity in terms of above the line spends as well as uh, in terms of the trade promotions. Uh, what you give to the intermediaries. So uh, the focus would be on consumer promotions, offering better value to the consumer and uh, having better offtake for our brands and uh, gaining share at our competitive expenses. Okay, Mr. Dugal, uh, thanks a lot for joining us. I would have uh, loved to ask more questions, but unfortunately we are in a market which is extremely volatile, so I have to address that. Uh, but thanks a lot for your time.